So when it comes to American holidays, Independence Day is known to get folks out and, you know, celebrating. But what may sound cool to you may be absolutely terrifying to your dog. They stress out, tend to jump fences, maybe even break leash. So in this episode, I'm going to give you five tips on how to keep your dog safe and calm on Independence Day. Let's get after it. Hey, it's Jariah and Disney here with another episode of Dingle Days. And on this channel, we do dog obedience, pet photography tips, and we track Disney's march to his first AKC competition. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So let's jump right into the video. I'm super excited to share a few tips about how to keep your dog calm and safe. For tip number one, do not take your dog or your pet for that matter to a public fireworks display. It may be something enjoyable for your family and everything, but one way to just avoid a lot of the chaos and some of the follow-on tips altogether is to just keep your dog home. It's an unfamiliar environment and one more easy way for your dog to get out and get loose. Depending on the situation, it can be very dangerous for your dog, especially if they don't have a good recall. But sometimes the action is going on right in your neighborhood. So another good tip, if you can, is to keep your dog indoors. Tip number two, make them feel comfortable. All right, if you want to watch a full video about how to get your dog to go to his place, you can check up in the YouTube card up in the top of the screen for a full video about that. But basically, if your dog has a kennel or a place in the house that he or she feels most comfortable in, that's probably the place they should be during this unfamiliar environment. But if your dog is normally an outdoor dog, at least know where your dog is on this day. Tip number three is to set the mood. Set the mood in the sense that, hey, uh, make it a relaxing environment. Maybe keep it routine, play some nice music, turn the radio on, put on pet TV, whatever you gotta do to get your dog to relax. Tip number four is to uh, either tire your dog out, get them some exercise that day, or keep them busy and occupied. Hey, if your dog went on the longest walk of their life in preparation for the big holiday, they're not gonna be concerned about, hey, what's going on outside? What are those funny noises and all of that? They're gonna think about kicking back, relaxing, and taking a seat on the couch or wherever you would have them be. This is the time to get out and go do that two hour walk you've been thinking about, get in a couple of miles with your dog. Uh, some of them like that nice calming pressure. So if you have one of those dog backpacks for your pet, you can do that. If you wanna help tire them out a little bit quicker, just you know check with your vet and make sure that's good for your particular dog's health. But the biggest thing is to get some exercise leading up to the event and that's gonna make your night go so much smoother. And tip number five is really the most important step and it's all about you. You are the pack leader, all right? You set the example. If you don't make a big deal about the 4th of July and all the weird firecracker sounds going on in the streets and your neighbor who just won't shut up, uh, they won't either, all right? If you set that and you keep the anxiety to a minimum, don't walk around and be like, oh my gosh, I wonder if Disney's okay. I wonder if he's gonna be freaking out. Okay, he is now freaking out. Whereas maybe he hadn't even made a big deal about the situation or thought those sounds were even awkward, but he can sense or your dog can sense when you think something is wrong. So this is like by far my most important tip is to set the example and be calm yourself. I got one more bonus tip for you guys. Make sure your pet ID or or licenses or however it is regulated in your state are up to date all right there is a particular uptick i've seen some statistics say somewhere in the neighborhood of 92 percent increase in loss or missing dogs on independence day it's the number one holiday uh, to lose your dog and that's not a good thing i mean p.s one in four fires are actually started on the fourth of july so it's just not a safe place for your dog to actually be out and about anyway so make sure your pet identification is actually up to date make sure your dog is is actually wearing their collar because I know a lot of indoor dogs you don't have the collar on them all the time but this is the one holiday where you want to go bust it out and find it because it could be the main difference in your first line of defense in getting your dog back so if you got value out of this video make sure you go ahead and click the like button I promise you it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm so we can continue to make videos like these remember know where your pet is on this 4th of July keep them inside and maybe don't take them to this year's fireworks display or any for that matter it's not a great or safe place for your dog to be Remember to check and make sure that identification is updated and not only updated, but also registered. So in the event that you do lose your dog, that you can actually be able to locate them. And the most important tip of all is to be your dog's example and remain calm yourself. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell for all future notifications of the videos that we post. And we will see you in the next video. You like that one? Like that one? Was that a good take? Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tire your dog out. So hey, if you got value out of this video, don't forget to click the Let's try this again. See ya. Was that good? Was that good? I don't know.